In this video we're going to create a marble run. For those of you who don't know what a marble run is, stick around and we'll go over the details. Of course it's all about this uh, marble and that basically is a ball bearing 11 millimeters in diameter. Here's a quick look at the ones that we made. Um, you can see the, the core of it is that big wheel that that drives the marbles up from the base and you can see one of the issues with this is it's very flimsy and moves around it's very hard to rotate with just one hand um, the parts are very poorly uh, line, aligned and if you checked on that last one I had to remake a piece because it broke because it's very flimsy it's very thin um, plywood almost like balsa wood So on to the design then, pretty much uh, inspired by those ones that we built, those are kits that you can buy, they're laser cut from wooden parts. And what I thought we could do is we're going to mix up some 3D printing and some CNC uh, woodworking and make this uh, like an evolution. We'll sort of build the first part of it and then we'll build onto it and hopefully it'll be fun to, to build it and grow it and see how it comes out. My plan is to 3D print some of the parts um, very quickly, like do a rapid prototyping of it, make sure everything looks good, works well, works with the ball bearings, the spacing all works well. And then what we can do is uh, decide which pieces we want to make of wood. The gear wheels, I used this utility, it's an add on, and you can basically set up whatever gear you would like. You can set the diameter, you can set the um, uh, shape of the gear wheels and so it's pretty easy to do those in fusion everything I do is in fusion 360 um, so you can very quickly create these gear wheels that's what I did to create the large one first and then I had to put a, a backing piece and a front piece on that so that uh, the ball bearing would be captured when it goes inside the the gear wheel So looking at the parts, that's the back piece that's just going to hold the, the ball bearing inside the gear wheel. And everything is is uh, spinning on a 12 mil shaft. So the, there's the gear wheel that will rotate. That backing piece obviously won't rotate, it's going to sit still. And then here's the front part. So the ball drops into those uh, slots in the front. It will then be captured by the gear wheel. And then the gear wheel will spin and raise that ball up the ball will be captured between those two parts I'll put a spacer in between them so it holds it apart exactly the distance that we want and as far as the um, ball is concerned it'll just it'll raise it up so you got to get the ball to the top so you can let it go into the chute and then drive it back down again and then put it back in and I'm thinking also we might add a little motor to a house rather than doing it with a handle um, but for now, we're going to do it with a handle just to get things moving along. So you can see I created the pivot part. It's basically just a 12 mil um, pivot for that gear wheel to rotate around. The front and back will be stationary. They'd be fixed to a base. And then the gear wheel is going to rotate on that 12 mil um, pivot. And then we got to have something that's going to turn that gear wheel. So we got a little um, handle gear there that's, that's going to let us spin the big wheel. So we'll turn the pivot on, with a handle for the small wheel and that'll rotate the big wheel. Uh, of course, what we can do is use that shaft to drive something else if we decide that's what we want to do. If we want to create little buckets or whatever, the, the two that we already made have climbing steps on one and there's an elevator on the other um, both of them are quite clever but I don't want to just copy somebody's uh, stuff I want to make sure that we can do it ourselves so in this assembly you can see the central um, gear wheel and then you can see the it's got a front and back similar to the large gear wheel but it doesn't have any slots obviously the balls don't ever go over there and then that center um, piece has a square on it so we can attach a handle 
Um, and eventually we'll attach a motor to that so that we can spin it up uh, at a fairly slow rate. If you go too fast, I think the balls all go <laughs> flying everywhere. That certainly seems to be the case with the, with the manual ones that we have right now. So again, um, all the parts are modeled in Fusion. I can choose to either create uh, tool paths for them and do them on the CNC, or more likely I'm going to do them on the 3D printer first. So if you've enjoyed this video and you're interested in the Marble Run project, make sure you subscribe so you can see the other parts of this. I'm, I'm expecting it's going to take a couple of videos. These are five minute videos, so doing the whole thing in, in two videos probably not going to be the case. Uh, it's going to take a little while, but in the next one I'll show you some parts that we've made and uh, get the balls moving around a little bit.